guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Jake. Welcome to the JD Cars Automotive YouTube channel. Looks like we're turning into more than an automotive YouTube channel today. And honestly, we've been making all sorts of content for years now. I honestly don't know why I don't post more of this stuff. It's really fun to make. You guys seem to enjoy it. And we get to branch out and try some new stuff. We're going over the Gloucester Bridge right now. Before I get too much into trying new things, because we are testing out a new product today. Today is an exciting day. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. We're on the way to Audrey's Flower Shop in Gloucester, grabbing Kaylin some flowers, gonna surprise her, about to pick her up, and then we get to go test out this brand new 55 core premium ice chest from Arctic Zone. I was just scrolling through my Instagram and this new cooler company popped up, and I've been thinking about getting myself a nice big cooler for the boat for the summer, going through the rotary here. I don't know if you guys have rotaries where you're from. Comment down below, does your town have rotaries? Do you like them? Are they annoying? Anyways, I have been contemplating getting myself a nice cooler for the boat for a while. The boat has a built-in cooler, but that doesn't really do you any good. Still gotta haul our food and drinks there. And I find myself in more and more situations where I need a cooler, but I, there's just no way I can justify spending the money on a Yeti. I just can't. That doesn't make sense to me. That's like like a large fraction of my <laughs> monthly YouTube income. But I was scrolling through my Instagram and I saw this company, Arctic Zone. I looked at it and I was like, oh, that looks like a Yeti. Like, that looks pretty cool. I wonder how much it is. We're at a red light here. Let's see if I can look it up real quick. All right, so just a quick Google search. Yeti 55 quart cooler here. Make a 65 from the looks of it here, but we're talking at least 350, maybe 400 maybe even more than $400 compared to Arctic Zone. Also, my phone's about to die, so that's good. Oh yeah, if we go to hard coolers here. She's on sale right now for 200. Look at that, folks. Oh, I'm excited to go try this thing out. I'm pretty sure I got the gray one. Oh, that's gonna match the F30 and the Jeep so nicely. All right, we're out here at Audrey's Flower Shop, supporting that local business, getting some flowers. See you guys in a sec. Flowers secured, baby. Let's go. We got some roses, some white things, some other stuff. I don't know. Looks pretty dope, right? Here at the house with Kalen. Hood buyers here. About to load it up and send them on their way. By the way, shout out to my dad for helping me package this thing up. Successful sale of the hood. Now we gotta jump in to this new cooler. All right, so about to tear into the Arctic Zone 55 quart premium ice chest. We got it in the gray color, they also have it in blue. Oh boy. Wow, this looks nice already. There's the front of it. This thing looks sweet. All right, so we got our Titan High Performance Roto Cooler. Virtually indestructible. We're gonna have to put that motto to a test. Virtually indestructible? I don't know. We'll put it to the test, but off the bat here, some very nice, thick, rubberized latches. I like that we have a measuring tape up on the top, so all of us fishermen bring in a little striper. Not sure if it's big enough, we can lay it right on top of the cooler here, measure it up. So I'm psyched to use this on the boat, didn't even know it had that. Opening things up here, got a nice, thick rubber seal. Looks like the top is very well insulated. We have a little wire basket tray that we can move around in here or just remove completely if we need to. Good amount of space. I'm gonna try to find something to give you guys a, oh, here's, here's a can of spray paint for size reference. Pretty, pretty spacious. And then this guy, you could fill up with a bunch of cans or whatever, maybe sandwiches. Let's learn a little bit more about this. Wow, we can keep ice in this for Eight days, apparently. It's heavy duty. Freezer grade gasket. Easy grip latches. Oversized drain, so we can drain it really quickly. Oh, and it has anti-skid feet, apparently. So it won't be sliding around on the boat, just bashing into stuff. That's nice. Yeah, our drain is definitely oversized. Now the real question, how well does this fit in the back of my car with ski gear? Move the boot bag over. Grab our Titan deep freeze here. Oh wow. It's like hard to push it because the the feet are so grippy. Oh. <laughs> oh, like it actually is. <laughs> so I mean it fits in the back of the next three. I guess I could put it this way actually. I'd like to try this thing out. Let's put some food in it. Yum. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> you put the rolls up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll put the, the we'll put the perishables right. up here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Two whole grocery bags. And that's what it looks like in the cooler. So got room for like two more if we wanted to. I'm not gonna put any ice in here just cause we're only going like 50 minutes, but we'll go no ice for the first test run here. See how everything fares. <laughs> just pulled this off. I wanna make a really quick note of it. Oh, Thank you. This thing is coated in microband. So that's gonna be stain resistant, odor resistant, easier to clean. And then here's a little visual shot here, bacteria. No bacteria. Just got some Chick-fil-A. Um, oh, yeah. God, that's some, bad, <laughs> that's some bad lighting right there. Who's that? What? Yeah, it is. My it, hair looks bad. It doesn't look good. I think it looks good. Yeah, it looks ugly. But thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been getting Chick-fil-A a lot recently, but this one, she got me on the Chick-fil-A wave. Let me know it's down so below. Good. It is good. <laughs> she likes she likes to get the nuggets. Yeah. I don't blame her, they're pretty good, but I went with a sandwich. Let me know down below what you guys like to get or if you don't even like Chick-fil-A at all, but. All right guys, we're back at school now. Yeah. So we're unloading our food that we brought from home and keep in mind, I did not add any ice at all. It was just refrigerated food. And we're back here, I don't know, maybe 5.15. So it's been three hours now. At least no we left the house at 1 30. yeah it's been almost four hours and They're cold. literally everything everything in here is still nice and cold it's like it was in the refrigerator yeah, so this ham's cold, this ham's cold. <laughs> so i'm impressed oh wait this will be the real test yeah they're freezing dude just to just to drive this point home we left the house with this cooler full of refrigerated food. Then we stopped at the supermarket and we picked up some room temp limes that were just sitting out. And they're dead cold right now. So, honestly, I'm super impressed. I'm excited for summer with this. I'm, I'm very excited for the summer. Fish measure and those grippy feet. The grippy feet have been blowing me away. Absolutely insane how hard it is to move this cooler, especially if it's on like a good floor. Hold on, Kaylin, bounce on one foot. <laughs> Get my feet out of the shot. <laughs> so, like, it's hard to move this thing, but it's not. It's not like it's, heavy. it's not heavy. It's just like really grippy. I'm gonna get showered up. We got a dinner reservation to get to for Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoyed your Valentine's. You're gonna be seeing this a little bit later. Initial impressions, I am very impressed with this Arctic Zone cooler. It doesn't feel cheap at all to me. Um, something my dad pointed out to me. One last quick feature. I still haven't figured out all the features of this thing, but dad pointed out it actually has a hole, if you wanna fold that down, oh, KK. Sorry. It has a hole right here on both sides, and you can either put a lock or a bolt through that, and... No bears. Theoretically, this would be bear-proof. Kaylin and I might have to do some camping, might have to test that out. I know this is a very short and brief video, but I want you guys to let me know down in the comments, what should I do with this? Where should we take it? What should we throw it off of? <laughs> should we run it over the Jeep? I think we should. That'd be Money. It's virtually indestructible. We might have to put that to the test. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to testing this thing out and I'll see you guys on the next one.